Hello, all you magnificent people, Derpo the Magnificent here, and today we're going rogue. Yep, I'm doing another one, because I still don't really know what to do in this downtime of Terraria. Um, so yeah, today we're going to be playing Scourgebringer. Um, it's a game. It's a roguelike, obviously, and it's, it's, it's pretty cool. It's in early access, like a lot of the games I'm probably going to end up playing. Um, but yeah, it's it's a real damn cool game. We're just gonna jump right in. Uh, I have played it before, so I have some things unlocked and stuff like that. But yeah, we play as this boy who is Afro. Boy? Girl? It's probably a girl. Uh, and we have a sword and a dash and I think a gun, but I don't remember what button gun is. This man has a beard. Oh, well, that's sneaky green. He's been around for a long, long time. Not like to me, though. <laughs> He's willing to help, though I have a hunch that there's something shady about him. Uh, well, thank you. This is the upgrade tree. This is where you upgrade things. Um, yeah, I gotta kill more bosses and stuff to get some of these, so... Oh, and I just realized you can disable... ...upgrades. That's cool. Anyway, let's let's jump into the portal and go. So yeah, it's it's a Binding of Isaac styled sort of thing. Go through rooms, clear rooms, and do stuff. And it has a similar map and fast travel and things like that. And it's wonderful. Uh, and the combat is incredibly fast and just nuts. Um, so yeah, you have a sword which you can hit people with, and as you're hitting people, you float. Uh, okay, that's the button. Great. Uh, enemies will have an exclamation mark above their head when they're about to attack you. If, if you hit them with this, you can you can slash and then you can bash. If you bash them when they have an exclamation mark above their head, they will be stunned and then take more damage and stuff. Uh, it also prevents them from hitting you. Uh, you can also, with a specific upgrade that I have, deflect bullets with the stun. So that's pretty cool. I haven't played this game in ages, so I'm going to be pretty bad at it for a bit. Uh, yeah. You also have a gun, and the gun gets reloaded when you do things. I don't remember what reloads the gun. I think it's that, yeah, it's that blue bar there. So as you hit enemies, that blue bar fills up. Um, oh, okay. And when it fills up, when you run out of ammo, you reload. Cool, got it. You also have a, a big attack that can do things. Here's the item room, or I guess the upgrade room is there's one of those because it's a roguelike okay uh deflecting bullets do more damage that's actually really good enemies have less health yes i'm gonna take scarier face from nuclear throne it's called threat detector in this one but scarier face is what i'm familiar with so that's what i'm gonna do wow so that seems like a oh damn it really good really good upgrade Hitting enemies also seems to delay their attacking a bit, so you don't always have to stun them when their exclamation mark is there, but, you know, you can. Uh, you can also basically fly in this game with dashing and then just, like, using your sword to... Yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, and yeah, games basically just go real damn fast. <laughs> Oh my lord. Ah, god damn it. That's one thing I still am not great at is actually properly remembering to uh, do the bash when you're supposed to. Oh yes, if you dash downward, you also do a ground slam, which is nice. Uh, oh, I'm so bad at this. Okay, good. An item. Uh, fully reloads your gun. I already have a fully loaded gun. Ah! I assume this is the mini boss. Oh no, this is a challenge room. This is new. The game updated today, so new stuff. Uh, I will absolutely face a challenge room. This should be easy. Woo! That was close. Ah! Okay, we're good. Bats and stuff. Ah, oh, this, this is easy so far. Gonna have to give me a bit of a challenge here. Now, this is just the first floor, so... Oh, these guys suck. Oh, wait, no, they really don't. They shoot tons of bullets, but you can stun them, so... Not that big of a deal. 
Woo! Okay. Got him. Oh, Lord! <laughs> oh, yes! This game, really fun. Uh, I Okay, so we got more damage for the gun by 5%. That's okay. Max ammo by 10%. Fine. Uh, gives back two health. That's good. Increases blast reload speed. Fine. Uh, increases damage by 5% on stunned enemies. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, the map is like an instant fast travel sort of thing. Really, really nice. Uh, this game is just all about speed, and I just love it. The, like, there is very little restricting the player at any given time. There's no, like, cooldown on your dash or anything like that. Everything's just great. Okay, so this... This is the boy. Oh, sorry, let me... Yeah, that was the thing that I can charge up. Okay, so... Oh, great. Killed him. So, yes, every floor has a mini-boss that you have to kill to unlock the boss door. And I just happened to find the mini-boss before the uh, boss door. There's the boss door. Cool. So, it's open. I can go fight the boss. I would like to explore everything first, because there's also a shop, because it's a roguelike. And, damn it, oh, I got hit. Uh, and there might be other items and things that I could get for beating rooms. Oh my god, or I'll just keep getting hit by the most basic enemies of all time. More ammo. Great, I'll take it. Uh... Hell yeah. Ooh, lord. Apparently, I can also stun enemies by hitting other enemies into them. That's kind of cool. Didn't know that was a thing. That's probably an upgrade I have. Oof. Okay, didn't deflect all of them. That was potentially dangerous. Ooh. Okay, so that'll give me health back. Ooh, exploration complete. Loot has been maximized. Thank you. Uh, fully recharges fury. Increases the combo. Uh, well, no, there's a store here. So I guess this is greed. What are you buying? Oh, hey. That's from that game that I haven't played. Resident Evil, I think. Uh, max HP for your charge. There's other guns. Um, I don't use the gun a lot, which is a problem, but I think I'm just going to take the health and uh, leave. Oh. There we go. Let's go fight the boss. Oh, yeah, so you can, like, wall jump and stuff. The movement in this game is phenomenal. The combat in this game is phenomenal. The only thing that I'm not a huge fan of in this game is the music. I usually just turn it off and play Carpenter Brew in the background. Carpenter Brew, sorry. Bodybuilder! Here's the first boss. Gonna just start out with a bit of a... Ah, I really gotta remember to deflect those. Oh, God! Okay, so I just straight up died. I was not paying attention, and I am dead. Let's do, let's go for another round. Uh, do I, I should have a ton of Titan blood. Oh, I do, but I have to beat the third judge. Okay, so I have to beat level three to, damn it. Okay, well, let's continue then. Back to the entangled English. Good to see that I have gotten very sloppy at this game. Oh, that hit me. You gotta be kidding me, seriously. Wow, okay, so having that upgrade where enemies had less health was actually super helpful. Okay, I thought I was going to kill him before he would get his attack off. That did not happen. Okay, well... this uh, Yeah, this is also a combo meter. I'm not sure what the combo meter does. I don't remember what it does, but it's there. Ah, I got hit by a bat! You gotta be kidding me. This is sloppy as hell. Oh, that sucks. Okay. You're basically watching someone who's new at the game. Well, not entirely new. I know what I'm doing, but... God, I'm not good at it. Hello, Greed. How you doing? Minigun, not great. I'll take the health. I don't have enough money for it. Never mind. Money is the blood that comes out of enemies, by the way. You use blood for money. It's kind of like Dark Souls, except I'm not using souls. I'm using blood. Cool. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, it's this guy. I thought they took this guy out of the game. This guy's super easy. You can stunlock the hell out of this guy and just spam all your attacks and he dies. <laughs> My brother told me that wasn't in the game anymore. He was wrong. I love the fact that you can just spam the hell out of that boss and just kill him dead instantly. You just dash, fire, and bash all at the same time, and he can't do anything. Uh, enemy projectiles are slowed down while standing still. Hot stuff. Ha. Uh, all of these kind of suck. Merciful Shop would be pretty good. I guess I'll take that. Because you can buy health from shops, so when you're low on health, like when you need it, it's cheaper. So that's a pretty decent upgrade, I guess. Alright, pretty easy room so far. Just maggots and things. Oh, that's bad. You really gotta prioritize that guy. Oh, hell yeah. Increase max health. Alright, we're doing, doing fine. We've only gotten hit like... A thousand times so far. Oh, yeah! That's another thing. If you dash while you're, like, hitting an enemy, you take them with you. Which is really cool. That, that is if the dash doesn't kill them. Okay. Let's get rid of that guy. Bash him. Got it! Cool. The bash itself doesn't do any damage. Well, it does do damage. It just does a very small amount of damage. I think it's technically possible to kill people with it, but I'm not sure. I know you can kill smaller enemies like maggots with it, but that's about it. Great. This is going still poorly. <laughs> we gotten hit four times on the first level. It's not good, just in case you were wondering. Great. Uh, we'll go for the challenge room. Screw it. This seems to give you a whole lot of... What did I get hit by? This seems to be relatively easy. He says getting hit twice in the same room for a lot of reward. Is what I'm trying to say. Oh! God bless America! I'm gonna die again. Oh my lord, I'm so bad. Okay, we're fine. This is fine. Dodge over here, bash that guy, dash over here, run, kill, got him! Okay. I was really hoping there'd be more <laughs> heals in there. That's unfortunate. We're fine though. We still have three health. That's okay. We still, we're back down to two. Bash him! Okay, good lord! <laughs> I'm gonna die before I even get to the boss! Speaking of which, there he is. Okay, let's go finish off that last little room. Could have fast traveled to make that faster, but that's fine. The movement speed in this game is relatively high! I swear I hit all those! Okay, so we just have to not get hit on the boss. And I can do that as long as I'm careful. Which isn't a thing that I like to do. I love to just go in and go nuts. Let's just do that real quick. I swear I bashed. I dashed down! No! Okay, we are gonna beat the first goddamn floor in this video if it kills me. Which it won't kill me because I will have beaten the floor. Alright, come on, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Speed, 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 up. Bat. Boys. Enemies. Honestly, this is just embarrassing. I know I haven't played in, like, months, but come on. Good. Got it. Cool. Fine. Moving on. Hitless so far. Oh, I was... I swear. I, j I shouldn't talk. No talking. <gasps> just, uh... Just bash him. Get it out of the way. Bash him. Good. Okay. <sighs> We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Good. Good. 
Ooh, a map. Sweet. Okay, so I'm about as far away as I could possibly be from anything worth... Oh, I got... I think I just lost my gamer license. I just got hit by a maggot. Oh, deflecting things feels so good. It's just kind of hard to do. The timing's a bit iffy. There's definitely a delay between when you press the button and when you actually bash, which is something you have to get used to. That's one of the things I really enjoy about this game is that you can pull off stuff like that, which I, I don't know, that might look impressive to somebody who's never played the game before. Um, you, you can do these things that feel really impressive and look kind of skillful and cool pretty easily. And a lot, like, the game just throws so many enemies at you, and yet you'd still... Uh, what I'm trying to say is the game lets you feel like a badass, but is still challenging. That's a really difficult balance to hit. A lot of games, it's either, like, you feel like a badass or you don't. And if you feel like a badass, the game is usually really easy. Well, you know what? Just stop listening to me. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. All I know is that this game definitely makes you feel like a badass and is challenging as hell. You gotta focus. <laughs> or at least I have to focus. Okay. What do we got this time? Uh, maximum health is good? I'm gonna take smash bullets deal more damage, because that's one of the best things to do against the first boss, at least, is to just deflect stuff. Increase sword damage! Give me that! That's just so necessary. It's 10% increase! That's so good! I need that upgrade. I'm buying that upgrade by the time we finish this floor. We need, like, 400-something? I don't remember how much it was. 490? Okay, we're actually really close. One more room should do it. Hello. Oh my god. Ugh. Nope, not today. <laughs> awesome. Oh, more sword damage. Health. We have enough for the thing. Perfect. Buy sword damage. Hell yeah. Okay, we should go over here so we can fight the mini boss. Ah, it's the new one. Okay, so he does that. Got him. Not a problem. Awesome. Max ammo is not a great thing to increase, it seems like, but that's fine. Mostly just because I don't use the gun. Here we go. Body boulder. Just go ahead and just do that. Ah, damn. There's a chance you can stun him there. Okay, whatever. I killed him. He dropped no heals. God damn it. Okay, we finally did it. We beat the first boss. Now things get hard. Second level, the still bastion. The ice level. Oh, I hate those guys. No, 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 no. We're going again. God damn it. I'm so bad at this game. Let's go. Come on. I hope this isn't too annoying to listen to, because I just realized there is so much frantic clicking going on. Oh, that happened! That worked! Ah! Oh my god, how did I not get hit there? Ah! Okay. <laughs> 
I have no idea how much talking is going on right now. Oh, where am I? I just got hit like seven times in a row. Okay, we're gonna go to the shop real quick and just uh, buy some health and then go back here and get some health and then we're fine. To totally, totally fine. Oh, really? There's two waves in this room. Oh, yes. Bashing them before they're... If they don't have an exclamation mark doesn't actually do anything for you. It stuns them very briefly, but not really worth doing. You really just want to wait until they are about to attack. Which is a really interesting balanced system, because you can't just stun them whenever you want. <sighs> they thought about this game. Got him. Cool. Great. If I remember correctly, this game is actually made by the same people who made Nero Voider, if you remember whatever the hell that was. I played it way back in the day, and- Oh god, I didn't even realize this is a challenge room! Okay, we're fine. Whew, okay. I can beat a challenge room without getting hit. What are you talking about? Of course I can do it. Not- not a- Super easy, barely an inconvenience. I got hit! Damn it! Shouldn't have said anything. Okay. Oh! Oh, come on! Ah, damn it. Okay. Fine, we got some good stuff. Will I beat the boss? Probably not. I'll probably get hit three times during the boss fight. Oh, more health, more damage. Okay. We're in a pretty decent place right now. I could beat the boss with this. Not a good start. Not a good start. Get some good damage in. Okay, got the stun off. Should be able to finish him, damn it. No, I stood on the spikes. Okay, we're fine. We didn't die. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> good lord, I forgot how much fun this game is. I don't remember if I mentioned it or not. I'm pretty sure I mentioned it at the beginning. This game's in early access. It's on Steam. God, those... What? That killed me? How? Ugh. Those guys are the worst enemies in the whole game. I hate them so much. I'm gonna play well. I'm not gonna make any dumb mistakes. At least not immediately. I made a dumb mistake immediately, which was not prioritize the big guy. I shouldn't tell you what I am and am not gonna do. Cause, uh, spoilers, I'm wrong. Oh, come on! Don't step on floor spikes, you moron! This is the run where I'm not gonna make any stupid mistakes, remember that. Oh, that was slick. Uh, there's no health. Is that a shotgun? No, it's a railgun. I don't know how good a railgun is. Oh, that gives back health. And it's only 240. I'll take that when I get the money for it. Damn it! Oh, that was bad. My problem is that I really just gotta learn to get out of the way. I So often I get caught up in, I'm hitting this guy, I'm gonna kill him. I should just keep hitting him and definitely, I'll definitely kill him in time to be able to get out of the way of all these bullets. Don't ever 
you won't get out of the way in time. You just won't. Okay. Let's go back to the store, buy that health so that I don't die. Come back here. Let's... I used to be good enough at this game to get past the first floor... Like with ridiculous ease. Like, I, it wasn't even a challenge. I would get through it every single time. Wasn't an issue at all. Now, however, I seem to suck at this. Oh, easy boss. Easy boss. Easy. Easy. <laughs> More damage. Hell yeah. Always here for it. There's the boss room. <laughs> That one note that plays right before the boss room opens kind of sounds like the uh, beginning note to the Seinfeld theme. Ugh. Gets me every time. Okay, here we go again. Damn it! Ugh. Ah, uh, no! Come on! No, we're going again. I know I said that was the last run. This is the last run. We're going again. Come on! I'm beating this. I'm doing this. It's we're going. Ugh. I just gotta be patient. Nope. Bash it. Okay. Oh, I'm so surprised I didn't get hit there. Ah! No! I'm getting so easily tilted. I just got two health back. The game felt bad for me and gave me two health back. That's incredible. Thank you, game. I will gladly accept your generosity. Just kill him before he does it! No! Okay. We're fine. Awesome. Cool! Not as big of a fan of that mini-boss, just because he... isn't instantly still mockable. Oh, yeah. I guess I never mentioned it, but it should be obvious at this point. The dash doesn't actually give you any iframes. It's just movement. So, uh... That adds to the difficulty just a bit. I just realized that my main problem with this game is I STILL GOT TIME! When most of the time I don't. Doing really good, actually, right now. STOP SAYING HOW WELL YOU'RE DOING! You IMMEDIATELY GET HIT! multiple times per room whenever you mention how well you're doing and the game takes pity on me okay 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 this is the best we've done so far i'll take more health i goddamn need it okay we're gonna buy the rail gun or the shotgun oh wait what the hell it's the eraser from nuclear throne that's awesome let's go pal Sure. Sure. Just do some damage. Not today, pal. Got him! Okay. And we're still at 9 health. Things are good. This is fine. Things are looking up. We're okay. Made it to the Steel Bastion with a decent amount of health. This is definitely the best run I've had so far. Screw those enemies. Mm. <gasps> oh, the stupid 
dumb little- Oh, I just remembered that these jellyfish exist and they suck! I have gotten hit twice in the same room so far. Just stun lock the hell out of him. That works. Game healed me for it. Good. Okay. Take out the ceiling butts first. They are the worst. Ah! Just... Oh yeah, they also explode into bullets whenever you... Whenever they land. God, they suck. Okay. We're doing good. Oh, I wasn't paying attention and I got hit by the railgun. God damn it. Huh. Okay. God damn it. Ugh, okay. I bashed him. Okay, this shotgun isn't as great as I thought it was, turns out. I <laughs> This is going so poorly. <gasps> Don't. Okay. Getting so tilted. <laughs> okay, watch out for the ceiling, but no. How? What hit me? Ah! All right. Well, <laughs> this game is so much harder than I remember. Yeah, well, that I, I'm gonna go ahead and end this episode off here. This was Scourgebringer. This is just a... This game is really fun. It's really hard, though. And honestly, the difficulty kind of puts me off from it a little bit. But it's good. It's definitely worth getting right now. Uh, and it's still being updated, so... It definitely seems to be one of those early access projects that is going to be finished. So if you're into really difficult roguelikes, this is one for your list. This is a good good game and good god is it hard so that's gonna go ahead and do it for this episode of going rogue thank you all so much for watching hope y'all have a magnificent day derbo the magnificent out